I'm here with head cross country coach Mike Frucci. And Mike, your first tr uh, cross country meet of the season coming up this afternoon at Oakland. Talk a little bit about uh, the Oakland Invitational. Yeah, it's exciting. It's kind of our kickoff uh, meet and um, not overly serious. It's not going to be a scored meet, um, but uh, our kids, I, I put them in pace groups for uh, paces that I want them to hit. So it'll be more like a hard tempo workout for us. Um, and we'll see Oakland and University of Detroit and then a lot of smaller colleges will be there as well. Um, and there'll be a reduced uh, distance for both the men and the women, uh, women doing 4K and the men doing six kilometers. So uh, it's, it's gonna work, you know, just more be like a hard workout for the team. Uh, but it get, gets their feet wet in the competition and then uh, so they can, uh, you know, start racing full tilt next weekend at our home meet. Great. Now let's find out a little bit about the teams. Uh, first, the women's team. Uh, who do you have returning that's uh, coming back for the team? Well, I, you know, this is a unique year. We have no seniors on the team. We've got a big group of juniors, uh, five juniors on the team, and um, I expect them to lead. Uh, Yulia Jasinski has uh, done really well. I was second in the time trial at camp. Uh, Maya Ayers won the time trial at camp. Uh, I think Amaya and Yulia will be up there for us. Uh, supported by Kayla Boys, uh, another junior, and uh, eventually by Jordan uh, Tomchak, another junior. Uh, so we've got great uh, upperclassmen leadership uh, from that standpoint. Okay. And out of the newcomers that you brought in, a uh, pretty solid group there. Uh, who do you see making an impact for the team? Uh, that's really exciting. Um, I'm not sure who will make the biggest impact. Uh, probably the highest profile uh, recruit is uh, Anna. Uh, Reeps from Concordia, who was 11th at our state meet in Indiana. So that's, that's the highest um, placing recruit that I've ever had here in terms of their high school accomplishments. Uh, Anna's done really well. Uh, Katie Simmons from Jay County, uh, very good runner, has been right with Anna in all the workouts. Um, and then also Andrea Bell from Ohio, um, who uh, did not have the same high school statistics that the other two had, uh, has just, just worked so hard in practice and uh, been real close to them. So uh, I'm kind of excited to get them into races and see who, who, uh, who are the racers of the group. I see who the good practicers, but we'll see who the racers are. Now on the men's side, you return a pretty good uh, group of veterans as well. Talk about the returners for the men's side. Um, yeah, uh, we'll be um, most likely led by Taylor Crowell, um, and Taylor's a senior and uh, has done won our time trial at camp, uh, negative split, a 10K time trial, did really good. And um, I think he'll provide us good leadership. He's been studying all the workouts. Uh, Alex Quick, who's had a lot of injuries over his time here, finally got him healthy and he's looking better and better each practice. So I think we're going to get great senior leadership from those two. Um, and then so, you know, supporting them will be Randy McComb and, and Cody Sengthong, uh, who have also put in good summers and I think will, will be good support to the seniors. And like on the women's squad, squad there's a uh, large number of newcomers as well. Uh, who do you see uh, really stepping up from that group? Uh, yeah, we have five freshmen on the guys' side. Most freshmen we've ever had it in a single class. And um, boy, uh, I expect great things from them. Um, I can tell you uh, Jordan Holloman uh, was second at the time trial at camp. Um, is tearing up the workouts. Uh, he also negative split that 10K time trial. Um, so I, I anticipate that uh, Jordan will have an immediate impact. Um, and then beyond Jordan, we have, uh, uh, well, actually Brandon Perry from Homestead, who was a captain at, on his high school team. Uh, Brandon's been working really hard and uh, put in a good summer of miles. So, uh, so he's doing good. Evan Boucher, who ran for Belmont. Um, you know, some of these kids, uh, They've, they've never ran or trained, uh, well all of them have never ran and trained as hard as I'm training them right now and they're, they're enjoying it, they're a little sore, but, uh, but boy I see so much potential in that young group and uh, so it'd be good to get them in races and so they start to build that college race experience and, uh, and then we'll see where that takes us. Great, thanks coach, good luck. Yep, thanks.